Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video this morning, get this camera focused. Yeah, I can make a video anytime I want now. My wife just left this morning to visit our daughter Bethany and her husband and our four grandchildren. Louisa, Margaret, Jack, and little Nora Jean there in Denver. Just got a phone call from her. She's in the, she's taking, she took a plane from Grand Rapids to Chicago and now there's a layover in Chicago and she called me just a minute ago and waiting for her flight to Denver, which will be in another hour. And I just got up this morning. I got up at four o'clock because I, she was, she left at five. My wife, five o'clock in the morning to go to the airport in Grand Rapids to take her flight. So I got up to, so we could have a time of prayer before she left and help her get the suitcases in the car. And then I went and got my blood work done because I have a. Not this week, but next week I have my six month checkup and my doctor always wants my blood work and urine and all that to see how I am doing. So I did that and then after I got my blood work done, which is just the lab, blood lab is just four minutes from where we live. I went to Family Fair, a grocery store to get some junk food. As I told you, when my wife leaves to go visit one of our children and their families, I always get junk food. <laughs> sweet rolls and I got some Dr. Pepper. This morning I got sweet rolls, Dr. Pepper, and some candy bars. I, I have a, a sweet tooth. As I've told you, when I was growing up, I ate a lot of junk food. And uh, I didn't get, I didn't have, say a dentist really until I married Carol. <laughs> uh, I never really took care of my teeth until I got married because, and so the, one of the first things I did when I got married to Carol, I was on her health, her um, and health insurance plan and I went to a dentist. And we've been going, I've been going to the same dentist for well, here in Holland, Michigan, I've been going there for 33 years. Go for cleanups and put, uh, you know, fillings and all that. So yeah, when I was a kid, no one showed me a toothbrush when I was growing up. My mother had false teeth. A lot of people, adults back in those days, they just went and got their teeth all pulled and had false teeth. and. So they didn't think about brushing their teeth because they didn't have teeth to brush. But anyway, so um, the point is I can make a video anytime I want. So here I am. So what day is today? Today is March the 8th. No, it is not March the 8th. It is March the 13th, 2024. It's 9.36 in the morning. Yeah, I, uh, when I came home this morning from the blood work, I ate breakfast. I wrote in my diary, I'm on page 232 for the year 2024. And I got my books out to read for devotions and I just couldn't, couldn't do it. And this thing's just not straight. It's so yeah, so I couldn't do it. So I said, I might just go back to bed. So I went back to bed and now here I am writing in my diary. And I thought what I would do on this March the 13th, 9.37 in the morning, is just, just ramble, <laughs> tell you what I've been reading or just, I have over there, over that way, I have, probably around 25 used books. 
Yesterday, my wife and I, we went to do some errands. And when we're out doing errands together, we go to thrift stores. And I call it doing the rounds. Uh, so I went to all the thrift stores and looked for used books. And, and I did get a book in the mail. Well, I got, I got two things in the mail yesterday. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. One thing I... I got in the mail. I got this used, and it's the Diaries of Don Don Powell from 1931 to 1965. Don Powell was a writer that I collect, and I so I was looking at a week ago. I was looking at this uh, internet site about. And the best, you know, five best books on American transcendentalism. Five best books on New York City. And as you know, I collect books on New York City. And one of the books that was mentioned was this book. <laughs> and I thought, oh, you know, that I knew about Don Powell because I have her Library of America, two volumes of her novels, and I have... Now this was edited in, with an introduction by Tim Page. Well, Tim Page also wrote a, a biography on Don, Don, Don Powell by Tim Page. And I didn't know, but I, I looked in the back here, he edited her selected letters and I ordered that used yesterday. So I have now her novels and I go, I have her biography and now I have her diaries. So that's what I was reading last night from these Don Powell. Probably read that today. I'm kind of like at this point where I'm kind of at a saturation point where I can't, when I look at a pile of books, I have this kind of resistance. I, I can't get any more in my brain. I, I can't read anymore. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I'm stuffed and my brain just says, please don't put any more stuff in my brain. I got too much to think about, too much to digest. And so, yeah, I don't know. But as you know, that what I do in these few days I have left here on this earth before the Lord calls me home, I read and I write. Now, when I really can't do anything else, or read or write, I sit. <laughs> I sit in silence. Well, now I can't sit in silence because I have uh, tinnitus in my left ear and there's a constant buzzing and I'm going deaf in this ear. And so, but yet, I still can sit, I can sit and just, you know, I call it waiting it out, or daydreaming, or drifting, or sitting in my cell, or as a hermit, sitting in the hermit hut, and just watching the day go by. Now I'm thankful, and I've said this many times, I'm thankful that I'm not living in Gaza, and or living in some bombed out area in Ukraine, or sitting in some Chinese prison, you know, because Christians in China are being persecuted and putting into prisons. And of course, in other countries of the world, Christians are persecuted and their churches are burned and they're persecuted. But I can wake up in this quiet little neighborhood in Midwest, Southwest Michigan. The sun is shining. We live in a really nice neighborhood. All the houses are are really nice. I don't live in a ghetto. I've lived in ghettos in my life before I was married. And uh, so yeah, I have much to be thankful for. I can sit in the hermit hut. I can read, I can write, I can sit and just drift through the day. I don't, well, I don't have to go anywhere. I, you know, I'm 71 years old. I don't have to work. I'm retired. You know, we're financially we're okay. We're not going to starve. We can pay our taxes. Uh, 
we can pay our heating bills we have toilets that work you know that's one thing I'm always amazed at I can flush a toilet you know you think about people in Gaza who are in those who are fleeing for their lives you know they don't have any toilets to flush they don't have any clean water to take a sh hot shower they don't have any grocery store to go to and buy food they're some are starving malnutrition and that's true with a lot of people in the world I mean even here in America even here where we live there are homeless people people who even in Holland we have food banks that's why I go to Action House to buy uh, used books yesterday just down the street is Action House Action House has a big huge food bank here in Holland it's right near where I go to get, see my psychologist right across the street Action House has uh, services they have a, even a grocery store of food that poor people can come to I don't know how it all works but they can get groceries to feed themselves and there's a Holland rescue mission here for the homeless they ask homeless for not only men but families women with children they even have here in Holland uh, women in transition women who are being uh, facing uh, uh, what the word is I can't remember but you know they're physical abuse uh, so yeah there's all kinds of things here for people who are in trouble all kinds of things for people who are in trouble mental health physical health spiritual health so yeah so yeah I got Don Powell the diaries of Don Don Powell yesterday and also I got some books uh, as you all know I, I buy uh, Christian books from Reformation Heritage Books and they said they sent an email last week that uh, the Banner Truth Trust which comes out of England but they also have a, here, an office here in the United States were reprinting the uh, J.C. Ryle's exposition of the Gospels and and I got them in the mail here they are so yeah I had I had the exp I had J.C. Ryle uh, it says here Wait a minute, I'll just show them first and then I'll read the little thing here, what they are. Okay. These are, these are, I had a set of J.C. Ryle's Expositions of the Gospels. I had a paperback series when I was, for many years, and then when I was in seminary in Jackson, Mississippi, as I've told you over the years, we had an older couple who she was uh, worked for the the seminary library and they were retired military and they became like adopted grandparents they would come over to our apartment to our house and we became friends with them Mr. Bob and Mrs. Ruth and they had traveled the world when they were in the military and they were really into American history and they were very they were bookworms. Mr. Bob gave me all kinds of books and he had come over, he gave the kids all kinds of books on the Civil War and but I gave him my set of the exposition of the thoughts on the Gospels by J.C. Ryle because he had given me books and so I just gave them to him because he and for many years when they would write to us letters he would always say that in their devotions they would read J.C. Ryle's expositions of the Gospels they're very famous among uh, 
Christians who are into Christian literature. So the first volume, there's only one volume in the Gospel of Matthew, uh, and then there's one volume in the Gospel of Mark. Then there's two volumes in the Gospel of Luke. And there's three volumes in the Gospel of John. You have volume one. It's a really nice hardback, just really nice. You have volume two of the Gospel of John, exposition. Expository, expository thoughts on the Gospels. And then you have volume three, expository. Now, when I looked at this set, this was different from the one I had. Mine was just very simple. And so that's why I was gonna read the, the flap inside the first one here. It says, uh, See if there's anything in here about um, Charles John Charles Ryle, 1816 to 1900, was born in Mansfield, Cheshire, educated at Eton and Christ Church, Oxford, graduating with a first in greats, which is classics. His sporting proudness saw him represent the university at the rowing, at rowing and cricket. A political career beckoned until his father's bank crashed in 1841. Instead, he entered the Church of England ministry. Long afterwards, he wrote, I have not the least doubt it was all for the best. If I had not been ruined, I should never have been a clergyman, never have preached a sermon, or written a tract or book. Royal served churches in Hampshire before moving to Hemington Ham Suffolk in 1844. It was here that he began to write popular tracts in his expository thoughts on the Gospels. The volumes of Matthew, Mark, and Luke were published between 1856 and 1854. In 1861, Ryle became victor of Shatchbrook Suffolk, where he became known for his plain preaching firm defense of evangelical principles. He wrote several well-known books, many of them still in print today. I have other books by J.C. Ryle down the lower level. I have his book on holiness, his book on the new earth, the book on the basics of Christian religion, and then he wrote uh, Evangelical Leaders of the 18th Century. I have those downstairs. In 1880, Ryle became the first bishop of Liverpool. His episcopate was marked by efforts to build churches and mission halls to reach the rapidly expanding population of the city. Retiring in 1900 at age 83, Ryle died later the, the same year in Lotzstoff, Suffolk. His successor in Liverpool described him as a man of granite, with the heart of a child. So, yeah, Ryle, I've been reading Ryle for probably 38 and 48 years at least. But let me see. Uh, let's see. I noticed these were different. I think they mentioned in here. It says, originally published in 1869 and 1873, these volumes differ from previous published in the series in that they contain full exp explanatory notes on every verse of the portions expounded, forming, in fact, a complete commentary. See, mine, when you look at, uh, when you look at this, like I was reading the one on, on Matthew, I mean on Luke this morning. We're on Luke chapter 16 and I was looking at it and mine just had the expository, expository thoughts but the new ones have the notes. There's the expository then you have the notes in small print. See this small print? 
The big print is the expository thoughts. And then you have the notes. Mine didn't have the notes. And what the notes are, are further kind of commentary on the text, which is really interesting. And uh, it adds to the, the uh, usefulness of it. So you have expository thoughts, and then you have comments where he just looks at the text more in depth. Which is kind of kind of interesting, because mine didn't have that. It just had the expository thoughts. It didn't have the the notes. So yeah, I got three on the Gospel of John. J. C. Ryle expository thoughts on the Gospels. You got two on the Gospel of Luke. And then you got one. see here. I'm trying to get these all in order. So you got Luke 1, Luke 2, and you got Mark, just one on the Gospel of Mark. Uh, and then you have one on the Gospel of Matthew. So yeah, I, Carol was really excited about getting these because we have a friend who are ministers in North Dakota or South Dakota, and she always is quoting J.C. Ryle in, in her, uh, in, in there on Facebook. So yeah, so yeah, if you want a, a good set, I mean, they're on sale. I think they came for $138, which is... I mean, right now, I you, you buy a book and you pay thirty dollars a book. It's outrageous to me how prices are going up. Uh, like I bought this little paperback here. I show I've been reading the Transfiguration of Christ, an exegetical and theological reading by Patrick Schreiner. This book was like twenty eight dollars. I remember when a book like this would cost you five ten dollars forty five years ago. So, um, yeah, so I'm writing in my diary. I'm reading on the Gospel of Luke this morning, reading on the Transfiguration of Christ. I also got a CD in the mail. This is, this group is called Pearl Before Swine, a book, Bacalava. This record, well, last week, uh, I was on the internet and they were singing Leonard Cohen's song, Susanna. And I told my wife that when I was in high school, one of my favorite groups was Pearl Before Swine. And they sang the song, Susanna, by, written by Leonard Cohen. And I... So was well, that C is that record available? And they had it. This is a 50th anniversary edition, uh, Drag City uh, record label just reissued it, and I bought a copy of it. Pearl Before Swine. It takes me back to my high school days in the San Francisco Bay Area, psychedelic folk music. <laughs> uh, so I was really excited to get it. Uh, so I've been listening to that. So I, you know. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to read. I'm going to write. I'm going to read. I'm going to write. I don't have to go anywhere. we got plenty of food. I might uh, go in the backyard and rake up some branches. Uh, the city's going to start picking up. Uh, you know, people dump. People start doing, working on their gardens and planting and trimming their shrubbery. And it all goes in the street and the city picks it up. So yeah, so I hope you're having a good, a good week. I also have next to me uh, the Reformation commentary on the on the Gospel of Luke. So I'll sign off. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for just hanging in there with me. 
I, I know that my, well, I'm not gonna say it. Anyway, like I said, I'll put, I got over there, I got about 25 used books. I got things to share, reflections, ramblings, uh, rants. <laughs> But, uh, so I'll just make videos when I, spirit leads. So this is Johnny from the Hermit Hut. Hope you're having a good reading week. May the Lord be with you. Blessings. And until next time, bye.